Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a special edition of Start to Finish, which is featuring me, Megan, in addition to Matt over there. Um, we're going to call this one something a little different, aren't we? Uh, yes, we have a very fancy name for this that I spent a considerable amount of time coming up with. Countless hours designing, uh, soundboarding, um, anyway. Focus groups. Yes, many focus groups. All concluding of me rolling my eyes. I mean, those are the best focus groups. And what did we come up with? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tart to Spinach for Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. Megan, what is this game? It hurts. That hurts me on the inside. Good. (laughs) All right, good. Okay, so CSD 2, for those of us in the know... Um, I'm going to explain this game here from the load screen because once I get going, I will not be able to speak. Um, this is the That's second. I'm here. Yeah, he's good at that. So, <laughs> ouch! As you may have considered, there are t- you may have realized there are two of these. Um, these are what do they call these? Hardcore cooking simulators. I believe the word hardcore is used in the developer's description of it. I mean, that seems correct. These are ridiculous. I don't want anything to do with them. So we're going to be managing a restaurant in this office tower here. As you can see from the window view, we are very, very high up in the air. That's where all the best food comes from. And Also a considerable distance away from the actual city. (laughs) I'd like to think we're in Dubai. (laughs) And like halfway to the moon at this point. So... Basically, people are going to come in, or I'm going to set my menu, or Matt's going to set the menu, we'll get to that. I'm going to set my menu, people will come in, place orders, and then I will make their food using very fast keyboard presses. Um, and it will make sense when you see it, it is very fast paced, so I will not be able to explain what I'm doing as I do it. And we're going to do something a little extra here. Matt doesn't like to play these games because they stress him out. They stress me out too, but I find it fun. And these hold the same place for me as like the theater rhythm series, um, uh, Final Fantasy music-based rhythm games, in that they are incredible to watch. I like everything that's happening here. I really love. I mean, in those the Final Fantasy games, the music is fantastic. It's my favorite video game series. And here, this is the best video game food I've seen probably since Final Fantasy 15. And I really look forward to Cook, Serve, Delicious 15 with the prettiest boys in all of the culinary land. But, yeah, those games are incredibly stressful for me. And just something about just like, ah, I gotta go. So... But you love them. I do. So we're You gonna... love both of those series. I do. I've, I enjoy Theater Rhythm very much, and I enjoy Cook, Serve, Delicious very much. And so we can enjoy... Th- so that we can enjoy them together. Basically, what's going to happen is Matt is going to make all the decisions, and I'm going to do all the work. Insert your own joke there. It's an equal partnership, our marriage. Shall we begin? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do this, because I've only ever overheard this game as kind of like this. <laughs> for six minutes at that a time. That scared the crap out of me. I wasn't looking at you. <laughs> well, also, the way this is going to work is you go ahead and uh, get a save slot started. Uh, we're going to be uploading these one individual day at a time. Megan, are you able to move your mouse cursor off of the middle of the screen there? Nope. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's gone. That's good. That's so going to have... drive people nuts that aren't me. We have story. Oh, it began like any other morning at Sherisota Tower. You rode the elevator up to your Platinum Star restaurant, Cook, Serve, Delicious, and reflected warmly upon your culinary brilliance and managerial prowess. Life was good. Continue, I said. There we go. Without warning, police surrounded Sheriff Soda Tower. I'm very confused. It seemed company executives were siphoning funds from the corporation while at the same time incurring a staggering amount of debt which drained the accounts of the tower and all the businesses inside. How is that even possible? Well, you have to rinse the pasta out after you cook it, and that's where all the money went. I have my own accounts. How did they get my accounts? This doesn't seem possible. Everything was put up for federal auction. Cook, serve, delicious. Was no more. Look at all these police officers wandering around lackadaisically. 
I've lost like everything. A, How can they be so blasé about this? What is like Balthier doing up in the corner there? Look at him. It's Look, like a upper PS2 left, game. that's Balthier. I see. This is like a PS2 game in that it's bustling activity. We can only afford to actually put nine people on screen. Angry, but determined to rebuild. You F- purchased yes, we are. a modest commercial space on the 52nd floor of the Tarragon Tower. The largest skyscraper in the, ci- the largest skyscraper some distance from the city, <laughs> packed with thousands of ravenous tenants. Okay, you, you will see the view does not look like we are 52 floors up. It looks like we are considerably higher than that. Do they let these people go home? See, look at that. That is not what the 52nd floor looks like. It is here that you will start a brand new cook serve delicious restaurant, build it back to its former glory, work in other restaurants to rebuild your finances Possibly. and expand your culinary knowledge and cement your legacy as the best chef in the land in the world. Good luck. <laughs> so we're just going to skip all of these intros, right? We are. Yes. Cool. I know I know what I'm doing. If if you people, if you folks want to learn how to play this game, that's where you'd go. Um, in the meantime, Megan, tell me how to play this game. Okay, well, first we've gone into player options because you need to uh, pick your chef. Um, you oh, okay. Upper left, so... So we have Lonnie Schuler, uh, Georgina Gladys, Carrie Cucinota? Kuch- Kuch- yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, Orenthal Shaw. That's a lady. Don't name anyone Orenthal. What is wrong with you? Patrick McAllister, former... That's def- also a lady. Former cor- cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Reggie Sanyal. These are all ladies. And I, I'm. Why are you telling me what their names are? Uh, Quinn's O'Cleary. Oh God. And um, Cynthia Cheese McMac and Cheese. Dolores Quirk. Dolores is currently winning. <laughs> um, standard time. Get out. <laughs> uh, Jesse Icebox Briner. That sounds like a uh, wrestler. Ulysses, Ulysses Glaze Cassis, Ronald Bakoisen, Al Dente. You couldn't even make the right joke. That is the right joke. What is the right? That the right joke. I made the right. Al. Al. Well, its name is uh, it, There's it, there's an accent mark. Al is a name. Yes, and what I said wasn't. <laughs> Um, is this person's name Al too? Yes. All right. Alex Pickett. Bonnie Pepper Peterson. That's a man. I'm doing great. All right. Um. Jeremy Lin. Yeah, Jeremy with a G. Lin. He just spells it with a G. A Nigel Fasella. There's a lot of people in here. All right, I'm I'm done going through the names. All right. Um. Okay, okay, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you want to be the slicer? Yes. Okay. Okay, so what are all of these options? Well, so we have the tower. That's probably where the game is. Well, oh, you have some mail. I want you to check your mail. Hang on a minute. All right. Sorry. So, Sorry. <laughs> so what we... Here's, here, are, here are the restaurants in this tower. The one in the upper left, the Cook Serve Delicious. That's us. That's our restaurant. These other restaurants, you can see most of them we haven't unlocked. We can work shifts just as short order cooks in all of these other restaurants. Um, the sole reason for doing this is to get money and to get dishes unlocked so that you can then serve them in your restaurant. How much fun must it have been to make these logos? Oh, wait. There's oh. backstory for all of them. Okay, close that, close that, right, close right. that. We're only going to look at the backstory. I will read the backstory out when we get to them. Okay. I... So the other thing that I know just barely from listening to you play this is that there's a lot of very clever writing in this game series. There is. And I don't know anything about it. So I'm really excited for that. And so that's your your first rest, your restaurant is that first option there, mm-hmm. Cook Serve Delicious. And then you can also take on a, sh- a shift at Max Wiener's. Yes. Okay. I have no, con- you have no control over the menus, over what the restaurant looks like. You are just, they're bringing you in for the day and saying, here, cook this. Okay. But that's for later. So, player options, food catalog. Ooh. Here are all the foods we could buy. Corn dogs. I've never actually... Okay, I'm going to... I'm. I will save my horrible observations on food for when... Are these available to us or do we have to purchase them? Um, we have to... I think we can sort by... Wait, wait, wait. Do 
you have to purchase food before you can put it in your restaurant? Yes. Oh, I see some. I see some locks over some of these. Yeah, That's some of them haven't means. been. Lo- some of them haven't been. Uh, haven't been unlocked. Okay. Um, they've sort of got them grouped into loose categories right now. You can see we've got soups along the top, some fried stuff, things um, what go in baskets, barbecue baskets, that Muffins. sort of thing. Okay. Um, we do have some foods already, and we have two grand before we uh, before we buy any food. Let's see what our other options are, because yes, we have an email. You're looked. Uh, uh, this is a Lindsay, so I oh, would okay. like you to. Are you pref- sure Lindsay is a woman? Um, in this case, I'm going to say yes. I, what if it's Lindsay Buckingham? Well, it's Lindsay Baker, and also I don't believe men should be CEOs. So I would like for you to read this. <laughs> Getting st- <laughs> surprisingly political today, dear chef. On behalf of Tarragon Management, I'd like to welcome you to our ter- tower. I was sad to read the Sherisota Management's illicit activities led to your previous business going under, but I am nonetheless thrilled to have you here with us. Aww. From one business owner to another, let me tell you that starting over isn't the end of the world. I've had my fair share of towers crumble to the ground, sometimes literally. That seems like a problem. But that has never stopped me from starting over and reaching for even greater success. Best regards, Lindsay Baker, CEO, Tarragon Tower. I think we should find a new tower. This was built on the corpses of the fallen. I don't know. I don't want to work here anymore. Okay, designer. This is where, as you, this is what our restaurant looks like right now. Edison lamps, card tables we got from the dollar store. A nice picture of a bobo by the right window there. We can get rid of that. What? If, if you no. want to, if you want to, it's not what I said. Um, so I we love can... a bobo. Oh, we can decorate multiple cook serve deliciouses while we're Ooh. in here. Ooh. Okay. So that is going to be fun later. But See, what kind of options? We don't have any options right now. So. Our restaurant's going to look kind of garbagey for a while. Well, that's okay. We'll get there. Uh, tutorials, which we don't need. So, And then that thing at the bottom is how to get back to the title screen, which we don't want to do. Yes. So we have two grand. What do you think? Hmm. Should we buy some food? I think first we, we start should off do with- a shift. At the burger, at, at, at that, well, I, we do a shift at the burger place, but apparently they have boarded the walls up, so we only can go to the hot dogs. I want to. Well, you're not good enough for hot dogs. Too good for hot dogs. I'm, I'm not good enough for hot dogs. Well, good news. Oh, this is Max Wieners. Here. I'm not good enough for Max's wieners either. Right, you want to shift at Max Wieners? I think we need to do a shift here I because don't... I don't know what I don't know what to buy. Yet. I don't know what's speaking to me. Well, as here's so here's the menu for the day in this shift. We've got corn dogs, soft pretzels, hot dogs, um, nachos, and then those smaller boxes down there are our side dishes. We are serving tater tots and onion rings today. That's a soda drink, and then we can see we've got weather. We have a positive buzz, which is how. Um, popular your restaurant is 25 percent of the people in this tower are talking about your corn dogs <laughs> um these things play into um the weather and things like that play into buzz that will come in when we're doing our own restaurant not so much more just doing these shifts because then it's the restaurateur's problem and not ours and you can see we have um can we have a restaurant in the snow please with the roof open i don't think we have any control over the roof and that's for the best we should definitely open. I mean, we should definitely open the roof because we're probably like midway up the tower here. I want to see what happens. To everyone up above us. You're, okay. You're what weird. are the what? What is postscript in high school down there? Uh, PS is primary slots. That's how many um, or prep stations. I'm sorry. That's basically how many people can order at a time. Okay. And holding HS is holding slots. So we have six uh, prep stations. So six people can order food at a time. That's not bad. Some of these will later on get into the double digits, and I may have to um, bar us from going that high, because I can't handle it. That sounds like a challenge. We'll see how it goes. Remember, not... I know where you live. <laughs> it's remarkably close to you, in fact. Just, I want you, now, before you make too many decisions about how I'm going to play this game, I just want you to think about how many areas of your life I have direct influence and or control <laughs> over. Noted. Okay, can I You're see blushing. the uh, can I see the history? Sure. Can I see what's what? 
Oh, but holding stations, I didn't explain. Uh, oh, four yes, of those. I'm that sorry. is where, for foods that are required to be prepped ahead of time, like, for example, soft pretzels, those aren't made to order. Those are made ahead of time. Um, so one of those will take up a holding station. And fries or uh, side dishes also sit in holding stations. And you'll see that when we get into it. All right. So here's the history. Founded in 2010 by Nathan Jill, Max Wieners is a byproduct of a fat rendering plant in Tahill, Kansas, which looked to diversify its holdings when the comfort food economy suffered a critical blow due to the organic food fad. I don't think Tahill, Kansas is a real place, but I don't know. Jill believed the organic food trend wouldn't actually hold, so while other competitors such as Fat Fawthorn, Sugar Shack, and Glaze 24-7 ultimately shut up shop, Jill used his fat rendering plants to create a new type of restaurant specializing in delici- delicious wiener-related items. In 2010, the All Wieners restaurant officially opened its doors. However, a hot Miami nightclub (laughs) filed lawsuit in 2013 on the grounds of name infringement, leading the name to be changed to the one we all know and love today. Do we? That's 100% incredible. I want to go to Glaze 24-7. What's your favorite kind of donut? Uh, I like a good maple donut. Now, see, that's a problem because, as I've explained to my coworkers... Um, the same way that the Queen of England technically owns all the dolphins, uh, all, owns all the fish in the water around the UK, around the British Isles, I technically own all the maple donuts in the lower 48 states. I just magnanimously choose to allow them to be distributed. That's why I haven't had a maple donut in seven years. Yep. They're mine. Oh. My coworkers know when they bring donuts, there if there there had a best be a maple in there, and b if there is, it's Megan's. Harsh. It's true. It's let's not do this thing. Harsh but fair. Let's make some wieners. All right. I really hate that word. I'm not one for it either. Okay, so you can see here are my um, criteria. To get a bronze medal, I have to complete the day with fewer than eight bad orders. I've yet to not do that. Knock on wood. To get silver, complete the day with five average or bad, so less than five mistakes. Okay. Um, there's good at perfect is you didn't make any mistakes on the order. Average is you made a little mistake. Bad is you you really screwed it up. Like you gave them a pizza with no cheese on it. They are not going to be happy with that. And then yeah, com- I don't think I would be either. So and then perfect is just what it sounds like. So the day does not begin until I set up my holding stations. You can see I have the clock in the upper right. It is now, I have stopped time. Okay. It is frozen at 6.50. So, um, oh, and that purple arrow right there, it says 29.5 right next to it. Yes. That is customer patience. That is how long they will wait before they start getting pissy and their orders start to disappear. Uh, I can increase that with um, use of um, holding stations. A lot of things make sense in my life now with the knowledge that the restaurants I've gone to have down to the hundredth of a second exactly how far they can push me. <laughs> All right, You're not so going to start ranting some, about Potbelly again, can, are you? Uh, no, they were fine. Okay. We can prep some corn dogs and pretzels, I see here. And I'm holding this microphone in front of me like I'm about to break out into song. Don't worry, that's not going to happen. My day has And begun. now the day has begun. Okay. Pretzels, you can see they want classic pretzels, so I hit C. Okay. Now, this yellow is a um, is an optional. I could put some hot dogs on the prep station to have them ready, but I don't have to. Since I have two sides, I'm not going to. Hot dogs okay. don't take long. Ah, person's arrived. She's going to have to wait. Pretzels aren't ready yet. All right, she wants a pretzel. I see that. Okay. Onion rings. We're prepping some onion rings. So you are going to be still moving kind of at Take your up. normal pace. I'm not asking you to go slower. Than normal. This is just me attempting to track what's happening here. Okay, so we've got we have about four people have come in. Someone is checking his phone completely. That's I mean, hot dogs aren't even. And now you cats. can see. I'm not sure what's going on with tater that. tots just are ready. Now look at how high the uh, the patience is. Oh. All right. You're okay, so buying them off with there. potatoes. Yep. I understand now. I, I mean, get I, it. I can be bought with potatoes. Let's be real here. Looks like it's tracking how much money you're making. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's I don't know if that's tips or just money. I think that's tips. Okay. Uh, yeah, I also have chores. You notice I just uh, flushed the toilet. I was staring at the guy in the hot dog suit, so I did not notice that at all. Uh, everyone, <laughs> I could please. go into a real rant about the uh, current state of my office bathrooms, but I'm not going to. We everyone, had ex- please consult the tape to review the the cleaning that happened. We had new tenants come into our building, and oh boy, I don't think any of these people have ever used a bathroom before. So this is cooking. 
Why do you even have that whole grill? You just put one hot dog on the grill. <laughs> that was hey, the saddest thing I've ever seen. This is Max Wieners. Hot dogs cook to order. They're better that way. This is Max Wieners. We bought the whole grill, but you're only going to need the edge. There, cleaning. Oh, rush hour alert. It's an hour to rush hour. Okay. Um, if I were in a busier place or if I had more prep stations available, this is where I might queue up some some second rounds of some side dishes so that if I run out halfway through rush hour, I'm not just out. Right. Refill the ice, take the garbage out. Uh, someone appears to be asleep. She's drooling, too. Oh, oh she is. That's... Let's all laugh at her. All of these people are really excited. Slam dunk nachos. Okay, just a dry dog. So. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, the Gerstman, which is the way we first heard about this game, watching a Giant Bomb video. So, I'm just going to talk while you're doing this. So, what I'm sort of seeing down here at the bottom very quickly before it all goes away, because Megan is very fast at this game, there are instructions down at the bottom. Each one of these... Each item on this menu appears to have a name and then a specification as for how it is made. It's like, hole-in-one nachos there clearly wanted something. Dry dog, you don't want to put anything on it. Deluxe one with ke ketchup and mustard. She has tuned me out. That's good. She's focused. Touchdown nachos come with refried greens, I assume that's what that was? Yes. Throw the trash. Mash it in there. Mash the trash. Trash masher. Grand Slam, queso, and sour cream. Uh, I'm not much into nachos. Uh, sour cream's okay. Queso's also all right. I don't... I guess all those things on there aren't things... Everything on there is something that I like well enough. I just don't really go for it. A dang dog. What? I'm confused. Look, I, wonder, I don't name them. I just cook them. I wonder how many more of these things are references. What? Yeah... So that Ooh. was bad because I hit the I uh, hit the wrong button. Ooh, okay. And uh, pulled that before it was cooked. Ooh. He is right to be mad at me. Just remember when they so. sue us for uh, food poisoning. I was never here. You I'll cannot drag trace you me. This was your idea. This entire feature was your idea. You cannot trace me. You cannot find me. Sincerely, Calvin. I'm doing really very poorly. Uh, the good news is, I can't tell because you're going so fast. <laughs> if you want to know why that is called the Gerstman, you should look up the GiantBomb.com quick look of the original Cook, Serve, Delicious. Which we watched. That's how you got into this, because we That's watched me. that. And you said, I don't think I could ever play that game. But I really wanted to. And then you bought it, and then you played... I don't know, 200 hours of it? It has the second most hours on this um, on my Steam account after Lord of the Rings Online. And since that's an MMO, that should give you an idea. Yes. The two numbers are not that far apart. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. Okay, rush hour, I can adjust in my seat a bit. You're also drinking. Or... Theoretically, you have a beer next to you. I have a beer next to me. I've had like three sips of You're it. You're a little, though, so I don't think it's. I think I'm getting. So, I'm getting a little lag. I wonder if because we're outputting from my screen, or not lag, but slowdown. I wonder if it's um, being affected from being pu uh, put out to the TV so that you can see it. That could be. There's also the fact that we are. Um, I can see the little GPU warning in the corner. On the way we are recording this, I think it's just it's working. Okay. It's not unplayable. Good. It's just I'm noticing that it's. Oh, come on, dude. You can get across the screen. Every once in a while, things go briefly into slow motion. So I'm going to blame any mistakes I make on that. That seems fair. Let's see, we've had another rush hour alert. There are multiple songs that play, so you don't go out of your head listening to the same ones over and over again. Although, as Matt was crushed to learn, the individual restaurants do not all have their own same music. Which is 
totally a bummer. I want Muzak in so many different cultures. Well, as I explained to you, this is a uh, this is coded by one guy. Yes, I believe. There's like there's an artist and a composer that he works with, but as far as putting this the uh, this whole package together, it is a single solitary dude. Which is wonderful. I mm -hmm. mean, one of one of the best games I have ever played, Undertale, was the product of one person. And Wonderful City Builder Banished is also a a solo solo developer's guy? work. Or one one person? One person. The soul human made that game. I like Banished. Banished is very good. Megan, what is the best hot dog you've ever had? Mm. I mean, hot dogs... I, I, I just... I like a hot dog. I don't know that I could point to a single hot dog as a real meal-changing experience. You know, a real life-changing experience. Do you prefer going out for hot dogs or having hot dogs in? Um, you know, I prefer making them at home because if you go out for them, if you're just getting them, you know, like from a street cart or what have you, they're, um, they're boiled and, um, or, you know, at the ballpark, those are boiled hot dogs, which are fine, but a grilled or a, you know, just like I do them in the toaster oven, that's a far superior hot dog experience. I would agree with that. There's a new um, there's a new little restaurant that just opened by us um, that is called Wiener Kitchen. We haven't been yet. It's right next to the library. Oh yeah, was... and it's like a whole, it's like a menu full of hot dogs and brats, which means I need to go. We should do that. I was I remember I was being a little savage towards the name. Well, I I mean if you put once you've put Wiener in the name, I think you've you've understood. You knew what you were getting. You knew what into. you were doing. This is not slang that has. You <laughs> did this. This is not a new bit of slang. So our Whoa, second... Whoa! All those people left at once. I was well, going to comment on his uh, jet beard from Cowboy Bebop, but he is gone now, gone. and he you vanished. must search your memory to remember him. Or if you're watching this at home, drag the little time finder back about 45 seconds. The Fog Dog. I mean, it's... it's Ooh, a premium bun. What is the difference between a regular bun and a premium bun? Sesame seeds. Or um, poppy seeds, rather. Ah. What about, now? What is you're not a huge fan of hot dogs. As far as stuff that you're gonna put on a grill and cook, I think the hot dog would be my favorite because I'm not really a big burger fan. What about a grilled chicken breast? Uh, those are good, but no one ever makes those. So, <laughs> not in my house. That's true. My That's family. Fair. I don't. I don't like grills that much. I never really learned how to use one. I so didn't either. I know. That's been kind of a problem uh what do you like on your hot dogs ketchup and mustard there are people who like look down at ketchup eaters as though you're that's something you're supposed to outgrow and it seems a little ridiculous i know it's like to my my usual question is why do you care so much what other people are eating they gotta get those clicks megan the one time i will the only the single solitary time i will defend donald trump for doing anything is shortly after you know black tuesday he was, uh, the internet was dragging him through the mud because he'd ordered a steak well done with ketchup. Who cares? Some people have very strong opinions about steak, no. and I have a very strong opinion about steak. I don't particularly like it, so when we go out to get steak, I usually get something else. I have opinions about steak when I'm going to be eating it, but in the case of Donald Trump's steak, he's paying for it and he's going to be eating it. So in that case, do whatever you like. In literally everything else he does, he can fall down a well, but Donald, you can eat steak however you want. I'm giving you permission. I'm the one that got political this episode. I'm um, talking about steak. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to talk about other... I, Vladimir Putin can also eat his steak however he damn well pleases. Vladimir Putin, you can eat a steak, all right? <laughs> all right, before we get into this, oh, this I do want to... This is a fun wanna... <laughs> feature. I think it's over now. <laughs> we have to go. We have to get out of here. Um, I don't really like uh, toppings on mostly anything, but I when I do have a hot dog, I just have a plain. See, I, I think it needs a little... It needs, a little needs, needs that zing. I haven't tried much on it. Like, are you a... You're not really a put relish on nah. hot dog person? I'm not a relish in anything except in um, tuna salad. 
That's my rec. Everyone, if you're a tuna salad person, put some put a, about a tablespoon of dill pickle relish in it. You'll thank me later. So 90 customers served, 46 was your highest combo. You had 56 delicious orders. Um, what's the difference between delicious and perfect orders, Megan? Uh, delicious orders are orders that were um, I did that were perfect and also were accompanied by a side. So those perfect orders count uh, takes delicious into account. Okay. You'll note those two don't add up to ninety. Um, if you don't, if you have side dishes ready, you'll notice no one was ever asking for like tater tots or onion rings. If they come in and they order a hot dog, and when their hot dog's done, I've got tater tots or onion rings in the uh, holding station. They'll just take some, which is why I have to keep replenishing those. Oh, but I don't have to once I. But I can also run out. Nothing bad happens if I run out. But th- that then won't be a delicious order. I know that would be more like. Oh, you have a side available. Please, t- it's already pre-prepared for you in this thing. But mm-hmm. I just, I first understood that as there's just this jar of tater tots by the counter, and everyone just <laughs> reaches their filthy jam hands inside them <laughs> and takes out their tater tots and just leaves. It's just like, ugh, shut this whole place. It's like down. the it's like the bowl of M and M sitting on the counter at the bank, except it's onion rings. Just <laughs> oh, while you're paying. <laughs> Have help yourself. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Why did I agree to this? Why did I have this idea? I I couldn't tell you that. I've had this idea. I don't I'm know. I'm excited about this. I said I wanted to do videos with you again, and you said, "Ooh, let's do this thing," <laughs> and I agreed to it for some reason. Some things you did. There's a shotgun there. We'll talk about the shotgun when that pops up again. Threw six pieces of garbage. Killed fifty five bugs. Um, yeah, they count right. each. You may have seen me like do things with the uh, roach traps and the dishwasher. I didn't do the dishwasher forty eight times. It counts each individual dish. Uh, it's dishes and not just like WarioWare coins. I mean, Trapped two rats and flushed the toilet seven times. That's a pretty good first day. It's a pretty good first day. I made more money in tips than I did in uh, food, so they like me here. Fantastic. Well, as we can see, I that's a silver. Yep. And we got some stuff. We, oh, we got, got some stuff. We, we got art. We have a stern lady behind a um, uh, Marilyn Monroe. Mm-hmm. We have a table. Okay, that's a little, good. That's a little side table. You wouldn't seat people at that. That's a domino. Yep. That is a domino. I wasn't looking up in the corner. To see what that was. Congratulations. I can tell art. Oh, uh, we, we can change the look of our counter. There's a uh, Ooh. the bar at the bottom of the screen that everyone that I'm everyone's standing in front oh, of. Oh, okay. I see what that would be now. Ceiling lights. Very industrial looking ceiling lights. A backsplash. You we got that's the bathroom. I it's like a, it. It's a tile backsplash. We got a lot of stuff. F- yeah, we did. Yum level two achieved. Oh, we leveled. We leveled up our yum. We did. Isn't that what owns like Taco Bell and Kentucky Fried Chicken or whatever? Yum brands. So. Does anyone call it Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore, or is that just me? I bet people do. <laughs> I refuse. No, I you. I know what that acronym stands for. Well, we have finished our first day, so uh, we're going to keep these videos short and sweet, so it's a chance for people to do something other than watch me play a game for an hour every single day. So, one day at a time, one shift at a time. Looks like we've got some mail for next time, a little bit more money. I think maybe, maybe, I want to decorate a restaurant. I want to make a restaurant now. Can we make a restaurant? Can you and I make a restaurant together and then go out of business immediately? Yes. Cool. Bye, that everyone. That will not be difficult. Goodbye. <laughs>